Well, this is the uh, third out of fourth module on the cardiac ultrasound standard views, and we'll be covering the apical four chamber view today. Uh, acknowledgements go to the Division of Emergency Ultrasound at Massachusetts General Hospital for a number of the images and videos used in this tutorial. So in our first two sessions, we covered the peristernal long axis and the peristernal short axis, um, and today we'll be going over the apical four chamber view. So one way you can do so is to uh, look for where you think the apex is and then obtain a coronal section of the apex. An alternative approach uh, that you could take is to actually start out with the peristernal long axis, follow directly visualizing where the apex is, and then obtain a coronal view that way. Both approaches are reasonable. And um, in terms of uh, where you point the transducer marker, if you're operating under the abdominal uh, or emergency medicine setting with the screen marker on the left-hand side of the screen, then what you're going to want to do is to put the probe marker towards the patient right. Um, and that would be the same as what you would do if you're doing a fast exam. Your screen marker is going to be on the left-hand side and you generally um, point the transducer marker to the patient's right. If on the other hand you're operating under the cardiac or cardiology convention with the screen marker um, over here on the right hand side of the screen, then you're going to be pointing instead to the patient's left hand side. So what you're doing is you're trying to look directly at the apex over here and um, you're trying to obtain a coronal cut through the heart um, through all four chambers like so. And we're just going to flip that around here. And then what you see um, is essentially you're going to have your transducer here right at the apex. So you're going to point that way into the heart. So what we'll do is to um, just flip that upside down because that's kind of where your transducer is going to be over here looking straight at the apex. So then what you're going to see is on the right hand side of the screen is the left ventricle and on the um, left hand side of the screen is going to be the right ventricle. Um, you can see the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. What you should try to do is really try to get your septum more or less in the middle of the screen vertically and ideally you should be able to see both of these uh, valves uh, in the structure in your image. So just to go through the anatomy here and you can see actually a bit of the moderator band um, in the right ventricle and especially if you don't have your transducer marker oriented the right way uh, people get the right and left mixed up uh, quite frequently. I'm going to direct you to a tutorial on our website that's also on the MGH uh, emergency ultrasound website that I made as a fellow at the at uh, MGH um, that will go through all the um, salient features to differentiate uh, right ventricle with uh, left ventricle so I'll direct you to that video so that you can tell the difference between the two. Um, in terms of the structures that you're looking at, you have your left ventricle over here. This is the posterior mitral valve, and this is the anterior mitral valve, left atrium, right atrium, tricuspid valve, and then the septum in the middle with the right ventricle over here. Okay, so that's it. Um, what you're really trying to do in the apical four chamber is to obtain a coronal section at, uh, at the point of the apex. You're going to point the probe marker to the patient's left if you're operating under the cardiology convention. And um, you should try to see all four chambers with the septum more or less in the middle, and you should try to see both the mitral valves and the uh, tricuspid valves. Well, thanks for tuning in, and as per usual, this is our homepage, and a number of our tutorials will be found there.